All right, Stephen Luke out at the range. Uh, this is our uh, this is our video on uh, muzzle velocity and energy versus barrel length, part two, 44 special and 44 magnum. Today we're going to be shooting out of the six inch Smith and Wesson 629, 44 magnum revolver, the Ruger Super Red Hawk, uh, 44 magnum with a nine inch barrel, and then the uh, Henry 44 magnum with the 16 inch barrel and we're going to be shooting three different loads the uh, Cowboy Action HSM 44 Special 200 grain <clears throat> the HSM uh, 44 Magnum 240 grain uh, uh, flat nose uh, bullet and then the 44 Magnum 300 grain bear load uh, with the J jacketed hollow point uh, XTP bullet XTP bullet from HSM so uh, what we're going to do is uh, load them up and uh, get ready to shoot and uh, then uh, take some measurements. All right, up first, 44 Special. Okay, 876, 853, and 843. All right, now the uh, nine inch barrel with the Ruger Super Hawk. Okay, let's see what you got there. 935, 923, 727. Well, that was a dud. I tell you what, why don't you shoot, shoot one more special out of there because I there's some, that I find that hard to believe. Must have been a bad round. Yeah, 899. I think we're going to discount that. That was a bad round. All right, now we got three more out of the 16 inch barrel. Hmm. 966. 1043. And 1039. Okay. All right, so uh, then we're going to load up some uh, 240 grainers, and uh, we'll see what we see. Okay, this is the 240 grain round out of the 6-inch barrel, 44 Magnum. 1215, 1196, and 1208. That's a hot round there, man. All right, let's try that out of the 9-inch barrel. Twelve sixty two, twelve seventy six, twelve seventy four. Interesting. Why do you think that because the muzzle rise affects the I think it affects trajectory? The, yeah, I do think so. All right, let's try it out of the Henry. That's the uh, 16 inch barrel with the same load, 240 grain, 44 magnum. See what you got out of that thing. Woo, 1386. Keep out of the way. 1402 and 1431. All right, we're going to reload with the uh, 300 grainers and uh, back in a moment. All right, now we're going to be shooting the 300 grain 44 Magnum, starting with the 6 inch barrel out of the uh, Smith & Wesson. Eleven thirty-six. Eleven sixty-three. 11.55. And okay. those are some big rounds. Those are some big rounds, yep. Let's try the uh, 9 inch barrel now. 11.56. Should be ready to go. Yep, there you go. 1167. Eleven 
1182. Eleven ninety one. All right, let's try the Henry. Sixteen inch barrel, three hundred grain Magnum load. This is a bear load. So cock this back. Yep, cock it and load it. All right, you're ready to fire. Try not to kill the chronometer. I hate when that happens. Or you can use the edge of the bag too if that's easier. Yeah. It's a little bit higher. Turn it sideways. There you go. <laughs> Woo! 1372. Thirteen seventy-eight. An error. All right. Well, we'll make do with that. Uh, I think we got pretty good data, and uh, we'll head back and uh, crunch the numbers in the garage. All right. We're back from the range in our uh, part three of the muzzle, uh, excuse me, muzzle energy versus barrel length video. Uh, using 44 Special and 44 Magnum and uh, what, I went ahead and did all the math so I won't have to bore you with the math but basically the bottom line is uh, and hopefully this will show up on the video um, we've got 44 Special which is 200 grainers 44 Magnum at 240 grainers and the 44 Magnum 300 grain loads uh, and essentially what what we see is that <clears throat> when you go from 6 inch to 9 inch to 16 inch barrel uh, not too surprisingly, the muzzle velocity increases uh, and then increases even more as you increase the barrel length. But what was interesting and, and also what we saw in the 9mm <clears throat> when we used only a 4 inch and an 8 inch barrel with the heavier bullets uh, you, between the 6 inch and the 9 inch the change in muzzle velocity was negligible. Uh, but when we got up to the longer barrel what we noticed with the heaviest bullets is that when you give the bullet enough time to, for the gas behind it, the propellant to accelerate it, uh, you get a tremendous increase in muzzle velocity. So in the 300 grainer, the 6-inch barrel, you had 1151 uh, feet per second, and which translated into 883 foot-pounds of energy. When you increase the barrel length by 50%, you only get an increase in 30 feet per second with uh, an increase in the, in the energy to 928 foot-pounds but then when you increase the barrel length to 16 inches you go from 1180 feet per second up to 1375 feet per second average with an increase to 1320 foot-pounds of energy. That's a basically a, a uh, more than a one-third increase in muzzle energy from adding seven inches to the barrel. So that last seven inches on the heaviest bullets is pretty important uh, in order to get that that large heavy bullet accelerated to its maximum acceleration. With the with the lighter bullets, especially the 200 grain 44 special, you can see it was about a around a 40 45 foot pound uh, excuse me foot per second increase from six to nine inches, and then only a thousand. Uh, foot per second increase when you increase the barrel length to 16 inches. Uh, so that wasn't a very big difference comparatively. And then you go to the 240 grainer, uh, it went up by uh, 65 feet per second when you increase the barrel from 6 to 9, and then it went up by around 130. Uh, so it, the, uh, the increase doubled. So from the increase from here to here was about 65. The increase from here to here is about 130. So the increase from the 6 to 9 inch and then from the 9 to the 16 doubled, uh, but the energy just increased almost linearly. So the, the lesson here, uh, to me, from all, all three of these is the heavier the weight of the bullet, the more important it is uh, for the longer rifle length uh, barrel barrels. Uh, as opposed to the shorter barrel. And that changing on a heavier bullet, even doubling the barrel length from 4 to 8, or in this case increasing it from 6 to 9 inch, made a negligible difference. And increasing it from 9 inch to 16 inch and giving that 
that bullet the chance to accelerate to its maximal uh, terminal velocity uh, made an inordinate uh, difference in the energy levels. So uh, there you have it. Uh, muzzle energy versus barrel length uh, showed that in the lighter caliber bullets it's way less important and in the heavier bullets uh, the longer the barrel uh, makes a much bigger difference. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I tried to make it as painless as possible by doing all the math off camera and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Steve and Luke from Vegas Westside Shooters.